Welcome to the October Paper Check meeting for Tiffany, Amy, Laura, uh, teams, and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, everybody, come on in this way. No, 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 not, they listen so well. Donna. Yes, ma'am, I'm coming. What do you mean by money on? Come on, come on, come in here. We're starting. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. What's wrong? What do you mean by money earned? Yeah. Okay. On that side. Door to that. Okay. Um, so um, we've got some new consultants in the room. Deb, I'm going to pick on you since you're the one sitting here in front of me. Um, tell me um, what product you've enjoyed using the most since you joined Paper Chef. Manual. Manual food processor. Yeah. Awesome. And what are you most excited about for your business this fall? Learning new uh, recipes and making some money. Yay, money. Awesome. All right, so um, I do want to thank everyone who brought a dish to share. We've got a lot of rock car recipes. So I did take a picture, I think, almost of every single one. Alexis is still putting one together that we will feast on in a little bit. And um, anybody have that uh, brought a recipe to share? Do you have anything that you want to, like, share about your dish? Uh, is it show worthy? You know, was anything hard to find? Blah blah blah. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Yeah, Debbie. I did the skinny mac and cheese. I did it last month, and yes, I would do it at a show because mm -hmm. you're doing the rock crock, the veggie stripper, um, the easy read measuring cup, the cutting board. I used the five inch Santuco. <laughs> And this time you added what to it? I added hamburger to make it more savory. There you go. And because I followed the recipe the first time, I didn't like the sharp cheddar. Tonight I put um, Colby Jack. And I think next time I'm going to do Colby Jack plus a medium okay. cheddar. Okay. So I, I liked it with the hamburger. And I'd probably put a ham or something like that in there. Because I can tell people, hey, you can do it as a side dish. Or make it mm -hmm. as a savory main right. dish awesome. for your family. Donna, do you have anything to add about your baked potato chowder? I would definitely do it at a show. I used from my rock crock to the potato peeler to one of the old the, the masher. Mix and mash or mix and chunk? No, I'm the old, old potato masher. Old <laughs> masher. Gotcha. I mean, I use, but I'm like, I don't want to get this done. Okay. And, and I used my baconator. Yay. I love the bacon. But that does have the option to be a vegetarian dish yes. if you don't want to put the bacon the ba in there. The, um, what's it called? The oh, the shallow baker? No. no small rich baker. Small rich baker. Small rich baker. Oh, rich baker. baker. Okay. Awesome. Mine's so seasoned with bacon in it, it's incredible. That's all I cook in there. Yeah, it's bacon. Yeah. What's your question, Ellen? I made the little mini apple pies. Yes. I had a hard time rolling out the crescent rolls because they wanted to stick to every the little dough. Yeah. Dough okay. What do you guys do? Flour. I would flour in the cooking sugar. Yeah, and, and keep it cold until yeah. yes, I'm until the very last work minute. Really fast and keep it in the fridge till you're like literally ready to roll out. And that's what I did, but I couldn't get it like to roll out as much because that's where I had a hard time. And I did you it. have the kind that had the no seams, or did you have the ones that had the seams and you had to like press it? Had the one with the seams. Yeah. There is a no seam crescent yeah. roll. Yes, there actually yeah. is yeah. a no <laughs> seam <laughs> crescent roll. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. They're not hard. They're hard to find. They're hard to find, but there is that is an option for that recipe okay. too. Another tip. Put your cutting board in the freezer, uh -huh. and then bring it out, and then you roll it out on the cutting board because it'll stay cold. cold. Too. Oh, okay, okay, good deal. Anybody else have anything they want to share for um, recipe that they're doing? The, the one I did is not identified on Consultant's Corner for the Rock Rock. Okay, what is it so identified for? It. Huh? Is it a deep pepper baker? It is actually um, the Oval Baker, which Old school was oval oval. right a long time ago, but. Um, you could do it in a stone, but in this case, because we want to promote the rock rock, I just adapted it to. The, okay. And you can literally cook the ground beef um, in the rock rock. Yeah. Drain it if it needs to be, and then finish it um, in there as well. Awesome. Cool. Nice. And you can broil it, which is cool. Yeah. So you get that one and steel. One vessel. All right. right. So, all right. So, thanks for sharing all that. Make sure that y'all filled out the uh, cooking for books for everybody who brought a recipe. You put your name on the little post board that's on the opposite side of my cabinet there, and then when we fill it all up, we draw a winner. So I know Angie and Alexis were had come in after I think y'all were instructed to make sure you did that. So make sure you add that on. All right, so next we're going to jump into 
Careworthy Business with um, Laura Robertson. Come on in, Laura. All right. So good to have everybody here tonight, and welcome to our wonderful fall season. And um, I don't know if I've met everybody, but I'm sure when we get around to recognition a little bit later, we'll get to see um, who is new. So let me ask you guys a question. I got a couple questions, actually. Um, and we don't have to write these down. You can just shout them out. But um, can who can name the last five winners of a Nobel Prize? Just shout one out. Anybody? No, no Nobel Prize names. OK, that's, that's fine. Um, how about that you might get these? The last five winners of the Super Bowl. Uh, Steelers! Patriots. He's got the last five. Patriots. And these the one Patriots. Okay. <laughs> we got three out of five. Any others you can think of? Yeah. I'm sure the ba the Packers are in there. The Giants. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Giants. Okay. I can't. I, honestly, I didn't Google this to look it up. Although I am a football fan. Um, but so okay. Just keep in mind that we had that, we had a little bit more um, name recognition there. Um, okay, how about um, how about this question? Can you name five people who have influenced you personally in a positive way? Can everybody? Oh, thanks. I mean, really, that's not fair, yeah. Tiffany. And you, and you, but just in your own mind, you don't have to rattle off your names. But can you think of five people who have influenced you? Everybody pretty much should be able to, right? Okay. Um, all right, how about naming five people who have brought you joy? And some of them might be the children. Oh, grandchildren. Okay, all right. I skipped that. I'm ashamed of myself. And, it, and you know what? Some of those people might be here in this room tonight because, uh, you know, we're kind of fun, fun group. <clears throat> all right, so um, what have you learned from this little exercise? How might this, how could you apply this to your business? I don't do enough reading. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't care watch enough TV. <laughs> but it, it makes you so that you're able to co connect with everyone mm -hmm. if you know a little Wait, bit of knowledge. Wait, you're on the right track. What did you say, though? What? Oh, I could care less about who won a Nobel Prize. You know, I don't pay attention to that. And really, and I don't pay attention to football that much. I mean, the only reason I know the Seahawks won is because they won last year. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me. How. Okay. You know, so good. How about you? Do you have an idea why this how this applies, maybe? Oh, uh, because um, you can affect the people that are close to you, or you that are inspired by you more than you are affected on a large scale. If you're personable and have that attachment, then you're more likely okay. to cause change. Okay, I like that. That's good. How about you, Nancy? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> She's sneaking oh, I in. Have anything right okay. Now. Donna, you, you started to say, say it gives you a broader range to be able to connect with people. Okay. To start a conversation. Okay. Okay. And you had a comment? Pretty much I, I didn't know any of it, so I don't okay. know. I don't watch enough Did, TV But you knew people that impacted you personally. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so that was an easy thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. No answers. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany, you want to chime in anything here? No, I'm taking notes. Go for it. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So um, kind of the concept here is that people remember those people who have impacted them personally. So in terms of your business, you know, we have an advantage over retail, you know, brick and mortar stores in that we build relationships with our hosts and our customers. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys ever go to Nordstrom's, but... What do you, if even if you don't shop there, um, what could you say that Nordstrom's is known for? Customer service. Customer service. And a yeah. nice bathroom. Right on both counts. So if you're at MacArthur, that's a good place to go. Um, <laughs> right. And like, I, I don't know, one time I bought something that required the sales clerk to, you know, follow up with me on a personal level. And even long after... I had made the purchase. I heard from that gal with um, a note, like wow. a handwritten note in the mail. Wow. Now, she had my address wow. because 
um, of some shipping and stuff that we did, but still, still well. Yeah, that doesn't really happen very often. So even though that's a brick and mortar store, that that person maybe I wasn't going to go back just to see her, but it it built a relationship between me and that store that you know very rare in in other circumstances. So we have that advantage in our business to be able to build those kinds of relationships. Um, did you know that on average, loyal customers are worth up to ten times as much as their first purchase? <coughs> Wow. Okay, so maybe they spent, you know, 50 bucks the first time they made a purchase from you. If you take good care of that person, they could be worth as much as $500 in sales. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and that, by the way, came from the White House Office of Consumer Affairs. So, um, okay, so what are some free and easy things that we can do uh, for our hosts and our guests that will make us both memorable and inspire loyalty? Thank you think notes. those, sorry? Thank you notes. Okay, thank you notes to the host. The host of the party. Okay, thank so. Thank you for that. I don't, thank you for your work. Yeah. Okay, thanking our guests. And um, let it, well, thanking the guests and then also letting them know with their purchase, just because they purchased something that night, let them know, hey, please feel free to call me or email me, drop me a line if you have questions on how to use it or if you need a recipe. Or just any questions sure. whatsoever about it. Good. Yes. I send Christmas cards. Oh, great. Okay, so sending a Christmas card and do you fill those out? I'm tired. At each um, yes, after I each do. show, and then you have them already Save done them and have them ready. Just throw them in the mail in December. Okay. Um, I do. I mean, you have. <laughs> I know. Such a dork. I mean, you had shared something when we were planning our meeting. Thank yeah, you. when I, um, I've been a little uh, rusty on this lately, but when I'm closing a show, one of the things on my checklist to close out a show is to write a thank you note to all the bookings from that show. So, and I just write like, hi Debbie, so excited about your show on September 25th. We're going to have a lot of fun. Talk to you soon, Amy. That's it. Can you mail it to Yes. To, you didn't get one because I stopped. Do you handwrite or do you email? <laughs> No, she's, she's handwriting it. She does it in the car before she goes in the house. I can't write them. There's something about a handwritten note. Okay. There is. It's more personal. So that's a great, that's a great, easy, you know, inexpensive thing you can do. Um, so we've talked about thank you notes. Um, what about... Tomorrow I need to call all the outside orders on this $1,000 show I just had over the weekend. Mm, there was wow. a lot of outside orders and I didn't get to talk, like, I didn't get to touch any of them personally, so I feel like I should call. What do you say when you call? Hi, this is Tiffany with The Paper Chef. I'm just calling to thank you for your purchase on Melissa's show. Did you have any additional questions, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't remember, who did I go to the workshop with? Brian, help me, Brian. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, Brian, he's a good guy. Um, <laughs> but he said when he yeah. calls his um, outside order, he says, did you find everything you wanted and did you get, no, did you find everything you needed? Did you get everything you wanted? And that leads him into, like when he calls and says, thank you for your order. Did you find everything you needed? Did you get everything you wanted? Because then he can talk about bookings with those people that he can add to their order. So, right. he does look really well with them. Those are, those are awesome words. Um, I know this is something that a lot of us already do, but um, having your guests add your contact information into their cell phones. Just make sure you give them the, the party. number. Okay, because now... You're, you know, you're on speed dial, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, I like Tiffany's line of the Ampered Chef Tiffany. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. What about, what, what could you do um, when you are at your show and the show hasn't started and people are still arriving? What, what could you do literally as they are arriving that would help to establish rapport and a relationship? Introduce yourself. Thank you. Yes, greet every guest personally. So does that mean that you basically have to be ready, <laughs> yes, be ready <laughs> before they arrive, right? Have your be there early enough to be able to get set up and be relaxed and able to greet every guest as they're arriving. I think that's a, a really good way to, to, to start off. I heard somewhere you shouldn't wear your apron to start out with. Some people wait until like mm -hmm. they start and it's kind of like they're, okay, I'm in show mood. Okay. Yeah. But it's then it's a moot point if you're wearing logo wear. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of you know what I mean? Like yeah, because they already know. Yeah, the, the point of that I think when they were saying that was yeah. you know 
you're just one of the party guests mingling instead of them being like, oh, she's a Cambridge alum. You know, so if you're wearing logo wear, it probably doesn't matter. Throw your apron okay. on anyway. Okay. But, um, but I do think the apron announces the formal yeah. beginning of. So I, I think you can still wear your logo wear and still Absolutely. make you know be personable. Okay. Um, but yeah, that I have started to do that too with not putting my apron on right away. Okay. Um, we were talking about sending personal mail. Um, another idea would be to send a birthday card Ooh. to your host. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one of my door prize drawing slip. Is it really? Mm -hmm. What do you like? What month? Yeah. What, you know, when's your birthday? They don't, and I tell them, you don't have to give me the year, just give me the day and the month. And, you know, then that way I can add it to my contact log and I can send them a card. Great. And sometimes it's okay. just an old season special. Sure, you don't work on that? <laughs> no, because I send season <laughs> best. <laughs> So I think you guys get the idea um, that whatever you personally feel like you can work into your routine, or maybe just pick one or two of these ideas to add in if you're not already doing them, and just make it a goal to be consistent um, so that you're building those relationships. And you don't have to, when you're making customer care calls, necessarily um, you know, make booking your primary goal for that call. The goal really is, to see how they're doing and if they're happy with their products and if you can be of any service. Um, we've talked a little bit over the last few months about um, the 2-2-2 two, two and two, um, program that Belinda Ellsworth has been um, recommending where you call your guests two days after the show, two weeks after the show, and two months after the show. And that those calls, generally speaking, are service calls. And Oh, I can't remember now the percentages that um, you it was something like 10% of people will add on to their order, right? It's a re re relatively high number of people that will add on to their order will end up booking a show um, Or you know any of a number of other things. So um, so those are good things to do and last but not least um, We're gonna issue a little team-wide challenge here um, when Doris Christopher started Pampered Shop She was committed to customer service and satisfaction can each of us honor our heritage by reaching out to 35 people individually? So this would be not like a mass email or a Facebook post. So in the next two weeks, reaching out to 35 individual people and providing excellent customer care. So that's one of our one of our challenges for this evening. But not through not a Facebook message. message, picking up the phone and calling them. Okay. Now I personally will make it a goal to actually live talk to 35 people, okay? So Which in two means weeks, you have to call how many? At least uh, 70. Oh, wait a minute. We can't leave a voicemail. <laughs> well, she said that's her personal My goal. My personal goal is to talk to 35 talk, people. Okay. So that means that, you know, I'm going to break that down to how many people I need to talk to each day. Okay. All right? So you guys can do that math yourself. Um, but whatever you choose to do, let's make that a challenge that you're going to reach out to 35 people. In the store. Okay. So on the team page, as you like block out your time to do this, like even if you're saying, okay, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to make as many phone calls as I can. On the team page, I spent 30 minutes today, I call, talked to five people. Okay. That easy. Over the next two weeks. So if you're like doing it every other night, you may say, I only got five done tonight, I got two done this night, and I, you know, eventually you're going to get to 35. So it's like a longer go for no. Yeah, Same. and I think you'll find um, as you're making more phone calls, I like doing calls when all my goal is is just to see how they're doing. I don't have a preconceived thing about I'm trying to get a booking or I'm trying to sell, a, you know, make a sale or anything like that. I strictly in my own mind, and it takes the pressure off of me. I'm more relaxed, and I just seem to have better results when I talk to people with that mindset. And you'll also get to feel after a while, um, what day of the week, what time of day, you have better ratios of getting a hold of people. Because I know for me, I like to make phone calls on Sundays, Sunday afternoons, Sunday nights, because people are done with their errands and their sports and all that kind of stuff, and they're kind of just relaxing and getting back, you know, into the mode for the following week. But they're oftentimes they're home more um, on that day of the week. So that, for me, is a, a high percentage time to make phone calls. But anyway, okay, so. All right, yeah. so next up is announcements. Amy, are we tag teaming this? Sure. Or are you prepared for that? 
All right, so um, this is the section where you kind of fill in the announcements that are on your little. Um... Sorry. Okay, so every um, on Consultants Corner, there's always an action plan for the month. So I'll make sure that link is in the notes so you guys have that. But it's always, I think, it, isn't it still Jane Miller? Yes. She kind of goes through, there's a video you can watch and her transcripts. So there are words that she likes. You can go through and copy and paste them. All right, so write this down if you haven't already, that our next team meeting um, for November is when? Who knows? The third. The third. Election, election day. day. That was, thank you for bringing that up. So if you are someone who has to vote after work, you may be late. Get up early and go vote. Yeah, get up early. Make that your plan to get up early and go vote. Um, we're going to have a, um, the, the, the December meeting is always kind of an ebb and flow, like we never know what it's going to be, so we finally need it done this week. We will, they're going to make sure we have all of our materials for the trip announcement on the 1st, and we have arranged for a special guest to come, and so we're doing our meeting that week on Thursday the 3rd. So this, this is the one time it's going to veer off from the first Tuesday. We it might be a person who's in the catalog. Do we want to tell them or we want to come wait? No, tell you us. Guys tell are us. Bad. You guys are Tell us. Here. No, we'll wait. We'll wait? Okay. No. So, yes. <laughs> you want to make sure you're here for Thursday the thir the um, third. And we usually have pizza on the Christmas. That's our, usually our Christmas things. We usually like. So Amy will eat. So Amy <laughs> wants to eat something at a team meeting. All right. So who knows what's going on in the outlet right now? Pink. pink. Wow. Yes. It is all pink products. There's now, only 12 things left. There's 12 things left. Now I have heard that they are hopefully digging in the vault, like the Disney vault. They're like digging to bring things so we don't run out by this time next week and we have nothing for the rest of the month. So, um, the really first the day, the, the first day it went from like to 26. 12. Yeah. yeah. Really? I think there were people who were up at midnight submitting there were. stuff for pink there stuff. Were. So, um, so October parties will be able to order. No, 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 they can. This is just the outlet. This is just the outlet. Okay. It's separate. It's October people can order anything. This is just a separate little area with discounted old discontinued stuff. It cannot go oh. on a show yes. order. It yeah. can't go on a show anyway. So it's okay, only yeah. on your outlet. And because you're a new consultant, you get your website free for 90 days. So those orders can help and just add on. People can go on your website at any time and order outlet and regular price stuff at the same time. Yes. Can that be combined? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so replacement parts. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. And you can do replacement okay. parts too. So they can do everything yeah. together. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you do a fundraiser specifically for ACS this month, what's the percentage that the um, ACS gets? No. 25. 25. So if you do a specific American Cancer Society fundraiser, American Cancer Society gets that money. Like it doesn't even come to you to give to them. It goes straight to yeah. them. Okay. But it has been increased from the 15 to 25% if you do a straight up ACS fundraiser. What time is the meeting in December? 6.06? Yeah, it's the same. We always, the time the same. Yes, always the same. Um, okay, you do that one. <laughs> okay. Do you remember those, Joe? No, I don't know this. Um, so one thing, um, 29 Minutes Dinner Volume 2 is on stop sell, which is good because I like it anyway. Uh, volume 3 is much better. Um, so do you all know about the Take 35 Challenge? Yes. What do you know about it? That is... Your, between October the 1st and December the 1st, mm -hmm. sell at least 35 of the soup bowls. Yes. And then yeah. that way you'll they'll get 40 meals. Right? It's two dollars per bowl. Right. And every dollar is two meals. meals. So yeah. it's 20 per meals. Each. Every dollar is right. 10. But if yes. you get if you sell the sets, and that's what I'm trying to tell people, yes. Yes. then it's 40 meals. Yes. That's there right. You go. 40 that's meals. Right. That's why I have the 40 yes. meals. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. It's thirteen dollars for one bowl and twenty six for the two. Yes. And the two and the two dollars per bowl goes back to uh, feeding America directly. It doesn't come back to our food bank. It's the roundup that we do at our meetings or at our shows that that goes specifically to the food bank that is closest to the zip code that you do the party. Okay. This goes to feeding America corporate. So that keeps the lights on, the trucks right. running, and both things are important. So now, isn't it with the sets that they also get a season's best? You can do that, yes. Mm -hmm. And the sets, you can either get two of the share bowls or two of the nourish bowls, or one or of each. Or one of each. One of each. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. okay. Like it. All right. Anybody else have any announcements that maybe we didn't cover? Like, um, I scrolled through. What did you find? Um, this the holiday tab. 
Have you all seen that? Sorry, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Never mind. It's available now. You can check it out after the meeting. <laughs> okay, I know. Um, all right, so you just stand up here because your next section is bookings. All right, so our next section is going to be on bookings by Amy Johnson. Did um, did I get a marker? Yeah, would you like, what color would you like? Would you like me to transcribe for you? Probably, because I mean, I'm fussing about what colors would be this. Oh, we have somebody who's joining us. Kristen. Hey, Kristen! Hi, sorry. All right, so you all had a post-it note, right? Yeah. Okay. You wrote on there one reason called and don't get as many bookings right. as they want. Okay, so what I want you to do now is look at your post-it note and say, is that me? Am I the problem with this particular whatever's on your thing? Or is it my customers? And so come up and stick it under me or them. Get up, get off your butt and stick it up there. Debbie, do me a favor while you're up. Oh my goodness. I need that list, Jim. Put that on me. Remember where it is? Okay. Oh my god, Donna. Same thing out here. Really? Well, aren't y'all two peas in a pod? That's why we're bad at all, buddies. <laughs> all right, there's not enough. Make sure you kind of line up with the camera when we are doing the training. Do you see yourself? Enough. Hi, Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kristen. All right, why are there only. It's garlic. Do you have your post in now? Basil. Come on. Oh, you should listen to directions. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, I can't stand that. I have a disorder. I can't listen to people chew. What am I doing? Put it under me or not. Oh, you know what? I have them up here. There you go. Anybody see my phone? You want me to call it? No, I just want to take a picture of this. I can use my iPad, I guess. You want me to take it and send it to you? No, I'll do it when we get all the Okay. Thank you. Sounds like our customers aren't the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that, Kristen? Um, it's really blurry. I won't, You don't have to read them, but we're asking if the issue is me or them for why we don't have as many bookings yeah. as we want. Oh, it's always me. They should be calling me. Okay, so. <laughs> we did that at Abundant Booking. <laughs> so you can see what's on here. I'm just going to tell you, and you will notice. I mean, do you see? Honestly, you get what I'm trying to point out here, right. okay? All right, so um, one says, don't make the phone calls or follow up, okay? One says, not picking up the phone. See, same thing. One says, too shy to ask. One says, I don't advertise. One says, the consultant does not properly advertise or talk about bookings and shows. One says, need to ask more. One says, they don't ask, which I think means I should ask. So, because <laughs> I mean, I think it's consultants don't ask is what I mean, you know. Um, so, um, some of the ones that they, they give us examples, you might see things such as, um, so just to throw some others out there that weren't up here, people are too busy to go to a party. I don't like to hear the word no. These are all under me, okay. Um, so, <clears throat> Obviously, we know we need to do what? We need to make a change, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I want to throw some numbers at you, okay? And so who can do math in their head really good? Besides me. <laughs> you can do it. Or you can scratch the numbers down if you want. Scratch okay. the numbers down. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right. So most salespeople, are you ready for this? Yeah. 44% give up after the first, no, no, thank you, 44%. 22% give up after the second, no. No, I'm good. 14% give up after the third no. 12% after the fourth. Add that up. We're missing something. Nope, we're not. Okay. It's not supposed to equal 100. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many? What's the percentage? 98%. Wait a minute. 92%. 92. 92. 92. I think I have 92. I'm bad. That's okay. I have 92. So 92 percent. So if you were talking to five people, at, there were five people at a party. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to ask her. And that's if I am in the 8 percent, you know, or the whatever. I'm not doing percentages right. But um, you can see that 
you know, then you don't even ask that person, what if she was the yes? Okay, so, you know, we're really big on goals, right? So you have to set your goals out. So <clears throat> you have to have no goals. And I don't mean no goals as in not any goals, but you have to have a goal for no's. Because if you say to yourself, I'm going to make those 35 phone calls, but you know what? I really need two bookings. So I'm going to make calls until I get my two bookings, and then I'm going to um, eat chocolate, okay? Um, which would be what I do. So what if the first two people you call say yes? Then you can have chocolate. Then you can have chocolate. That's not helping you, though, because you just left out 33 other people you were going to call. If you instead say to yourself, I'm going to call tonight until I hear 10 people tell me no, how many people do you have to call to hear 10 no's? Maybe just 10, maybe 15. Could be 10. But if it's 20 and you hear 10 no's, how many yeses did you hear? Do you see? Isn't that much better than two? So your no goal is much more important. And when you look at it from that side of the fence, it makes it much more easy to hear that no. Because you're like, check, that cl much closer to chocolate. So, <laughs> or whatever. Well, like Amy and I have a monthly standing toe appointment that we go to every four weeks. And the week of our appointment, I have to get like whatever I, whatever the gaps I feel. So if I have to get 10 no's or 20 no's. I have to do that before I can go get my toes done. I just have to leave my house sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but you see what we're saying. You don't it's feel as issue. bad yeah. when you know that you're going for the nose. Yeah. When people tell you no, you're like, sweet, there's a no. Yes. And, you do, and it makes it that much more, you know? And another way that you, you don't take it personally. It, can you I'm, go ahead and tell me no so I can check you off? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have a no. And the other way they, they um, illustrated it to us at conference when we learned this was that if you have a bag and there are nine red balls, right, and one green ball, and you stick your hand in the bag to pull one out every time, you don't know, am I doing this right? You don't know when you're going to pull out that green ball, so you have right. to keep going. Yes. If you say, you know, I'm going to go for 10, you're going to get the, the green. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, so it gives you a goal to shoot for that will, you will eventually, if you go for no, you will get the yeses. And like okay? Laura and I went to a training about six months ago back to Belinda Ellsworth. And there was something that basically you have to ask someone, wasn't it five times before yeah, they're going to yes. say yes. Yep. So these two things kind of go together that you may, it's okay to keep calling the same people, like the two month rule, like we're saying, make the, talk, talk to everybody every two months. Because that's like basically, you know, by the time you hit them for the year, they're going to eventually probably say yes. Yep. Did you have a question? This information is coming from these parties that the host, the, the, the guests are in, you know, writing out their information and phone number and things that you call. Yeah, like your door price slips or your mm -hmm. out and about okay. contacts or people you already I don't know. Have people to call. I mean. Well, like Amy probably needs to work with you on your yes, like, frame. We're gonna list. talk about that in a second. Yeah. Okay. Um so let's talk about some of these um problems and um let's see if we can come up with some ideas on how to work around that. So um don't make the phone calls follow up. So how do you get around that? I have to do it. I have to you force make it myself. Suck it up, buttercup. Yep. Um, pull, pull in your big girl panties. You're too shy to ask. How can you get around that? That's that's a hard one. How do you get around that? Just keep doing it until you get used to it. And Practice makes it better. I was texting with a person who was hosted for me a couple times. The office is all hosted for me. And I text her about something. And she goes, I wish I could do what you do. And I said, well, why can't you? She's like, well, you're so good at it. I'm like, the consultant I am today is not the same consultant I was 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. I've had 12 years of experience. It's like the, you know, the male guy looking at the CEO and saying, not that I'm the CEO, but you know what I mean? Like, Whatever, you can be smart. Right. <laughs> you, start out, you start out in the male room and work your way up. Yeah. You can call anybody you want. Be like, hey, remember me? No? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, so just start at the top of your just list. Find, and... Just start somewhere. Even if they don't remember you, who cares? We did meet, I promise you. you paid me <laughs> That's why I have, on my door price, it says we met on. at. Yeah, yeah, so you can reference that. Not necessarily who the host was, because I use the same slip if I'm doing a vendor event. Yeah. I say we met at Chesapeake Jubilee. We met at Pembroke Mall. We met at Amy's house. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter, but you can reference that. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Laura. I know it's for a completely different subject, but it's 
part of networking. We were always told when you go ahead and meet someone to not just uh, write down their name and information, but something unique about them. Right. And then that way you can include that personal touch. So maybe they won't remember you right away, but they'll remember that yes. conversation. Like when I do a vendor event like Pembroke Mall, I'll say lady with the crazy kids or yeah. like a lady <laughs> with a pretty <laughs> pin it or, you know, pretty brooch on her jacket. Who wears brooches? I don't know. Like that's just a, it's a visual. <laughs> what, what pops at you? Yeah, yeah. whatever right. pops to you, right. so you can say, "Oh yeah, um, you know, I don't know." You could use you that as a bridge. On, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So let's but see. You can't say you have terrible kids. Um, what about <laughs> a couple of these said you don't advertise properly or talk about bookings books. at the show? What can you do? True. What can you do to start talking, talking about bookings? Where's your at the show logo? Where? Um, all right, so some of the ones we don't have up here, but follow through on your logo wear. What? Go ahead, Kristen. Okay, but follow through on your logo wear, because I was on the phone sitting um, in the car at the grocery store today, and someone actually tapped on my window, and it's the first time anyone's ever asked me about Paper Chef, because it's on the back of my car. And she's like, can I have your information? I want to do a catalog show. I really want to do a party, and that she was very excited about it. But I was on the phone and I was like, okay, hold on. And so I gave her my card and a mini, but I didn't get her information. So now I'm sitting here and I'm thinking there's this excited lady out there and now she's over the Pamper Chef buzz and I might have lost that. So make sure you exchange information, not just give it out. Yep. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good, Good one. Good one. Um, <clears throat> all right. So what about if, some if we think like okay well people say they don't want their friends to feel obligated to buy something so how can we overcome that but everybody likes to tell them to bring friends i tell them it's not about you can't judge them like when i used to work in the hair salon we used to say like um when you're trying to upsell somebody from a haircut to highlights you don't know how much they're willing to spend on their hair or whatever so you don't know if somebody's got like this of cash, Amy, who left it in their purse last Christmas, who just came to Paper Chef show and was like, shoot, I got $200 in cash nobody else knows about. I'm going to drop it right here and buy everything that I wanted. Because that has happened. <laughs> so you can't, when I say, like, you can't judge your friends, just give me the cheeks and the seats. Absolutely. I'll help mold them and decide, like, uh, then I'll help coach them into what they're going to need now. But don't say, don't prejudge your friends and say, Oh, they don't cook or they don't, they don't have the money. That's usually the big thing. They don't have yeah. the money. Yeah. You, yeah. Guys, you don't know what they have the money for. Yeah. And how dare you decide? And a lot of times the people that come to the party that don't have the money to spend, they will book a party. They'll book a party. They want that stuff once they've seen it. Those are your really good booking leads. So I didn't order a daggone thing when I signed up. Um, now, over half of the product in our catalog is under twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. If you knew that, that's a number you're like, "Yeah, that's so expensive." Um, Fifty percent of our items are under twenty five dollars. Um, and also, people can come just to. I mean, what I say to my customers is, let them come for a night out. If they're broke, they probably don't even go to the movies or anything. So come on, let them have fun with their friends, get some tips, get some recipes. Come on, you know, like like she said, once we get them there, we'll do the rest. Um, <clears throat> another one, another common. One we hear is people are too busy. What's some uh, overcoming that objection? What can you do? Those are the people that need it more than anybody. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. And we have and alternatives to offer too for that if people really truly are busy. Okay, so, so like, here's a true thing that happened today. I had two cancellations today, both for the next two Sundays, the 18th and the 25th, and I was not happy, not happy that to hit these texts one right after so the good. other. And so I went and looked on their Facebook event because a lot of times you get that and there's nobody invited on the Facebook event. One had eight people confirmed to come and one had nine people confirmed to come. And at first I was like, bitch, you better just send me back my catalog. <laughs> <laughs> that was my gut reaction. Like I spent five bucks to mail you that packet. I want it back. And then I was like, wait a minute. I just saw you have eight people confirmed. Um, do you think that there's somebody there? If I offer my house same time, same day, somebody just take me up on the offer to have the show so I can say employed. So what I did is I private messaged each of those eight people today. So I'll have to wait and look to when you guys leave.
but I was like, I am not going to go. I was, I was like mad for the moment. Like I really wanted to strangle someone, but then I was like, okay, what can I do? They already had these and they had like five babies. Why am I going to let that fall in like, right. right. So there's somebody, if they're going to come, there's got to be somebody who'll take, I even dangled an extra 20 bucks for you. Yeah. Did you offer a Facebook party? I, I did offer the Facebook party to one of them. One of them said, um, hey, I have to cancel. I'll let you know when I'll reschedule. Thank you so much. Like, she cut me off at the, you know, before I could even get there. The other one, I was like, hey, do you want to, like, do the catalog show? And then when I, that's when I went and looked at the RSVPs, and I was like, why am I letting all these people, like, slip by me? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I never have a problem having a party in my house. Angie had her party here. Um, because she's got five kids at home. She doesn't want to have a party at her house, but she'd want to come here and hang out with you, you know? So I don't ever have a problem offering my house. I want to be employed right. that day. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I, had to say? I didn't know how to respond to this, but a really good friend of mine, um, I messaged her and she just lost her house in a fire in May. I was like, oh my gosh, they're living out of a camper. And what I really want to say was, you don't have any kitchen things anymore. So yeah, you need to replace all of them. <laughs> I felt so bad, but I'll catch back with her. Yeah. And, say, then I would say, you know yeah, what, don't once you're, yeah, yeah, fun yeah, yeah, or, don't or, or once you get moved in, let's have a house party. Okay. You know, no that's a thing. Yeah. I, that was awful. <laughs> I say, do you imagine? Yeah. Or like you, to lean off what Laura said, if you can't do the catalog, then you do the virtual. Right. One Absolutely. or the other, mm -hmm. or both, or they're all kind of, just, you know. Yep. And make it easy for your host. You know, maybe you want to offer to send invitations, that's a personal decision. Uh, maybe you want to pick up the groceries and she can reimburse you. Um, sometimes that's even more helpful for us because then we know when we try to buy Roma tomatoes, you get Roma tomatoes and not a can of Rotel. Um, not that that happened. So anyway, when, um, when we look at the reasons that, um, hesitations that we have and what keeps us from booking a calendar as full as we want it, we either lack a skill or a will. Okay, so you can probably look at these and say, okay, skill is this, will is I think I'm done. Um, so <clears throat> there you go. So here's what I want you to think about. All right, I want you to, <clears throat> I'm just going to split you very loosely into two halves. So um, computer people, <clears throat> you're going to be with <laughs> Donna and over, and then everybody else over here. And so what I want you all to discuss, just really quickly, just come up with some ideas of things we can do, three or four things we can do to improve our skills. And you guys are doing three or four things we can do to improve our will. Okay? So okay. talk So we talking yourself. to the people on the computer that you yes. said? Donna and over including computer. You want me to move Yes. Yeah, get up. And then you can I can move these guys back a little each bit. Other. All right, we've got look at other people open your mouth some people over down. here and then come scoot this way, Donna. Just grab the chair over by Skills, skills. We're skills. 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 Skills.
save them, mm -hmm. and now I don't even know who they are. So yeah. totally I just have somebody's first that. name. That's okay. Um, and phone number. Yeah, you can say like, "Hey, and Donna, we met at Hallmark." I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Oh, I'll be friends again. It's okay. Shoes. See, Go ahead, Kristen. I feel more comfortable calling the people that have I have a hard time hearing her. her. Sorry, girl. Say it again. Um, I have a uh, easier time calling people to say, to say thank you for ordering. Yes. It helps me get the conversation bubble rolling, and then I can maybe, if I can either leave it, depending on who it is, um, I'll either leave it at a thank you, so I can have confidence to actually speak to someone, or I'll roll it into, hey, you want to, you know, this person got, or whoever your host was, got this much of free product, and we could give that, blah, 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 we talked about, but it, I find it easier calling my you know, thank you for this order Go instead ahead. of um, just making a random phone call. <laughs> Kristen, is, what Kristen was saying is it's easier for her to call someone to thank them for an order. Oh. As opposed to like a cold call situation, it's, it's a more of a warm call. To thank okay. them. Yeah. And then once you get into, like, once you start right, building a database, up. you'll have, be able to send the newsletter, and there is something called a warm call report. We'll get into that later. But it gives you more people, like gives you a reason. More, yeah, more motivation and uh, balls to get into. <laughs> I have an issue with figuring that out still. I'll, I'll you can copy what I have. Right. All right. So skill, skills, math yes. skills group. Yeah. What do you? What did you come up with? Some ideas we can do to improve our skills. Take online training courses. Online training yeah. courses. Can you take them more than once? Yes. yes. As okay. often as you want. What else? T attend your team What's meeting this? training. Team and meetings. If you show, show up, up, you grow up. If you learn, you, you earn. earn. That's what I'm saying. What okay. else? Anything else? Attend someone else's show. Go to a show. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, anytime there's local training, um, like last year, what was it, early in the spring mm -hmm. when Nancy Francis and, um, oh gosh, Nancy Joe Ryan and Marie were here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, going to conference, mm -hmm. um, back when they had the launches, going to those. Yeah, going to conference. And, um, that costs money, that reading, reading your, um, to consultant news, and you can always go online. And read some of the older ones too because they have some great articles and stuff yep. in there. And then practice in front of the mirror or with your family practice. and friends. Like thank you said, just do it. Yeah. That's That's um mm -hmm. one other thing that I don't know if you know, if you go to the online training center on the left or tab or links, one of them says resources, click in there. And you can, did, you, did all of you get to go to conference this year? Did everyone no. get to go? No. No. Would you like to have gone to some of the workshops at our conference? Yes. yes. Now you can listen to some of them. Click on resources and you'll be able to listen to some of the workshops. I would recommend to go hand in hand with what we're doing, abundant bookings. And if you listen to the first one that says abundant mm -hmm. bookings and the, um, the presenters on that were Missy Eilitz. Her last name is E-I-L-T-S. Yell it. No, not yet. It's Eilitz. That's how yeah. she says it. And Susan Warshe. Susan or Eilitz and Warshe. That's how it will be listed. If you listen to that one, you'll hear a lot of what I'm saying tonight because this training was um, done in conjunction with their training at conference. Okay. So that's a good one to help review what we're learning. All right. So will peeps, what did you find out will help us improve our will? Um, Kristen was saying that um, it's easier for her to call and thank people than to like in a cold call situation. So then she kind of gets in a role and then she feels like then she can ask them about bookings or additional sales or whatever, but it's just easier to go with the thank you first. All right. Start with something you're comfortable with. What else? And, and you're helping an attitude of helpfulness helps. What else? I know for me, I have to get like in the right mindset to make calls. So like I need to be, have my positive pamper chef hat on, like it goes back to your belief in the product, your belief in the business. Um, I shared a story today about 
or the other day on our team page about someone who had been a pamper chef for like yes. double digit yeah. years and thought it was gonna be greener on the other side. Her belief had wavered a little bit. So yeah, not every day is raw, raw pamper chef, just like any job you've ever had. But I think if you just say, you know, what, I'm going to get in the mind frame and even if the first call, you have to fake it till you make it, then the belief kind of kicks in and it like takes over and you start just spewing pamper chef all over people. In a controlled Anything else? Way. I heard from another consultant at conference, put up a mirror in front of yourself when you're making the calls, work with yourself. You will become spunky and it will not just be that. Like, are you drug. smiling? Right. Yeah. Anything else, Will people? Just do it. <laughs> one thing I heard Deb say is that she she needs more people to call because she's really excited. So she's brand new. She's excited about it. Yep. So we all need to revisit our why. Now it may not be the same as it was when you started, but you still have a why. I mean, you started for a reason and you continued for a reason. Revisit your why. Yep. That'll help put that spark back in. Um, and if you need Amy or I to like crack a whip on you, I'm good at that. Or item to zero person. <laughs> Disregard my husband in the uh, background. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Suggestion. Is it somebody had last year for Halloween, it's a little saying. No, oh, it's yeah. Mind. But it's Marty Book of Party or the one with those candy bars? Either in one. It. And hand them out for Halloween. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Are we out there? Way out there with you? Never mind. Sorry. Like me. I'm all the way to Surrey County. Never mind. <laughs> like we go places to trick or treat. We don't sit on trick or treat in our hood. We go places, and my, my kids, kids race, and they're like they yeah. they race up to places. Yeah. Here's but, our bar. You know, I even keep them with me. This like I was telling myself I need to make them this week because I always yeah. wait until like the last minute. And that oh. way, when I was at the bank today, I should have put one in the bank. When I made my deposit, I should have put one and said "Be a smarty book a party" and put it in the shoot back to her. Do you have any so I can see what it looks we like? can we can it's post it? Yeah, I have just a sticker that I put on a Ziploc bag. <laughs> I haven't even gotten my kit, so I have absolutely yeah. This nothing. is some of the stuff that Amy can like. We don't want to overwhelm you trying to do like forty-seven different things. Uh -huh. I think she's ready. <laughs> 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 All right. So, one other thing. Listen, I have to get through this. All right. So, um, another thing, and this is something that we were just talking about on Saturday. But um, when you do an average show, what you make um, versus what your host gets it from that show is vastly different. Who ends up better? The host, the host does. So remember that. Have that attitude that you are doing them a service. We used to, my um, exec used to make us say, I'm a professional business person with a valuable service to offer. We had to say that all the time. Um, and so if you have that attitude that they're not doing you a favor, but you are helping them or providing a valuable service, yeah. That will get your belief a little different. So um, sometimes we talk about the belief triangle. And it doesn't matter if you remember what this looks like or anything. Just know that one side is not greater than the other. And the three corners of it are belief, action, and results. And they flow around. So maybe you start with your belief that chocolate is the best food in the world. And that leads to your action that you're going to buy some chocolate. And that leads to results that you eat the chocolate and it's delicious. And it reinforces your belief and you go around and around and around. Or maybe you start with the action. Hold on. Maybe you start with the action that I'm going to make 35 phone calls to thank my guests for being loyal customers because it's 35th anniversary. And that action leads to results that you get 10, 12 bookings. And that is going to put you back in that belief. I am great. People want to book shows with me. And then that leads to more action. It goes around and around. It doesn't matter what part where you start. start. It just, it all works around. So, um, just start is really, yes, you got to start. So look, I'm going to pass around some sticky notes. I want you to grab three and pass them on real quick. Cause here's what we're going to do. Um, and while you're passing them around, <laughs> I want to remind you that if you don't have people to call or you don't know who to call, the average person knows 600 people. So when you say to me, I don't want anybody else to call, I called everybody. I'm going to say, you called 600 people. Wow. Um, so it's, you can't think of all the people you know just sitting there staring at a blank piece of paper. So Frank's is our acronym. And if you need us to post this later, or remind you of it, don't write it on your stickies. Keep your stickies blank right now. But Frank's stands for friends, relatives, acquaintances. What's the other? Sweet. Neighbors. No, 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 no. A has two. It's acquaintances and associates. associates. Neighbors, kids, spouse. And so a good thing to do is sit down with a Frank's list, fill in as many as you can, and then hand it off to your best friend. 
hand it off to your husband, hand it off to one of your kids and say, fill in some holes, I'm stumped, I can't think of anybody else. And they're going to be like, well, you know, zones are here, you know, zones are what right. about So pass it off to a couple other people and have them fill in holes for you. Okay, give them a season's best or a kiss or depending on who they are. Um, so that's going to help you fill in your Frank's list and then start calling. But I don't like to call. Guess what? We were taught at conference. We had a special trainer with the directors, and he said one of the favorite things we've been saying to our kids, enjoying it is not a requirement of doing it. Ooh. Pick up your phone. Like <laughs> I don't want to do that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Enjoying yeah. it is not a requirement of doing it. So here's what I yeah, want you to do. Yeah, I mean, do y'all think we really enjoy making 47 phone calls and it shows? No. But it has to be done. All right, so here's what I want you to write in your sticky notes. And what you're going to do with these is you're going to stick them around in the house. Maybe one's in the bathroom mirror. One, maybe one's on the kitchen cabinet where you stand. Maybe one's in your car near the speedometer, but not covering it because I'm not responsible for your tickets. Um, <laughs> on one, you're going to write, I'm, all right, wait, first, before you write this, just in your head, think. In the perfect month, I would have blank number of shows. Just think that number, okay? Doesn't matter what it is. So what do I want over there? I'm so excited. I have that same number shows on my calendar. Write it down. If you believe it, it's going to happen. I'm so excited. I have blank shows on my calendar. No, put the number. I just Your number. number. Okay. Your number, yes. All right, the next one. I'm going to write people love, in all caps, love. Booking shows with me. The last one, the phone is a friend, not a foe. <laughs> And then you have to stick them all over. And when you see it, you have to say it out loud. F-O-E, right? Yes. F-O-E. -E. However you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Only you have to know what it means. <laughs> Do your Frank's list. Enjoying well, it is not a what? requirement. A friend. 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 Not a foe. Not a foe. Okay, what's the other A? Associates? Acquaintances? Acquaintances. Yeah. Kids and uh, spouse. Spouse. You really call kids? People you know through People your kids. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be oh, okay. like yeah. so your friends, relatives <laughs> group. Yeah. Who's who's her best friend? Her mother. Yeah, like people you know through kids or sports teams or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. all righty. All right. All right. We're gonna move on to some recognition and high five and I forgot my clappers in the garage. So Ooh, you're gonna have to actually hand. like clap, all right? All right, so first off, we've got some new faces in the room. So I want to welcome up um, Deborah and Angie. Will you guys come up to the front? Amy, will you come back? Yes, I'm coming. I'll let you Yay. Come on, Angie. Yay. Yeah, stand over next to Amy. Angie, stand over next to Amy. <laughs> All right, you're going to stand over here. Do we have any new people on video? Um, no, they were here last time. Okay. Just making sure. All right, so this is, um, and he's going to tell oh, you what this yes, is. Here we go. Okay, so um, when we have new consultants, we always give them a key. Yay. This is a key to your business. And we're, we're going to read a little something we wrote about this. Okay, so you're not, now you're not holding it, but I'm going to get you in a minute. So you are holding the key to your store. How exciting it is to open up your very own business. Picture yourself opening the doors to your new store. You must be so excited. Have you told everyone about it? Really, everyone? Um, how many people will come through your doors? That all depends on how you host it. How much future business will you have? That all depends on how many bookings you get. Will your business grow and will you need to hire help? That all depends on if you share your business with others. How many hours a week is your business open? No matter if it is full-time, part-time, or a hobby, you need to treat it like a real store with real walls and real hours. If your store is low on sales, needs more customers, Etc. You need to do what any other store owner would do. Have a sale, advertise, get the word out that your store is here and open for business. How your business does is completely up to you. Good luck with your business. Amy, Laura, too. Yay. Yay. All right. So Yay. Yay. All right. Y'all need to go. Okay. 
All right, so thank you everyone who brought a dish to share. We kind of covered that earlier. Um, thank All you right. for food. Um, thank you, or who since the last meeting has participated in any like online trainings or you know with Pamper Chef or without a Pamper Chef, maybe a webinar or anything? Yes, Laura. Um, some of the um, executives in my um, upline are doing a, uh, a program called Director Bound. You got, I'm sure you guys have heard of this, right? Because when Lisa Hendrickson was here, um, yes. we you know, had, had some information about that. So we're having a series of calls on um, every other Sunday night. And um, so far it's been awesome. I think we've had one introductory and two regular calls. So like the first regular call was on booking. So it's just like, I, I have more and more information and sometimes my head swims, but um, it's really exciting to have other people to do something like that with other people that you all have the same common goal. So that's what's going to happen. Awesome. Thank you. So it's nice that home office offers these trainings and then also our individual uplines are offering it. So actually Laura, Amy and I all roll up to different uplines. So even though like um, we had a call on Sunday that was supposed to be for like my uplines team, I usually just swoop you guys all in and say you guys can come on and because you're like my babies anyway. So, all right. So, um, anybody survived their first cooking show since the last time we were all together? Not yet. Maybe next month. Uh, I have my first one is October twentieth. Yay! We're <laughs> back. Can I just walk you a little bit? Sure. What day did you sign up? Friday? Or was it Saturday? Friday. I don't remember. <laughs> we were at Thursday night. Thursday night, I signed yeah. up Friday. I right, signed up Friday. She has already gotten 10 bookings. Woo! Woo! That's how you do it. Awesome. awesome. Sure. All right, does anybody else have something you want to brag about, celebrate? Anything they got going on in their business? Um, Ashley is with um, Jeannie. She's new. That's Jeannie's downline. Um, oh, yay! Hey, they just, they just right. Right. Here, oh, so they're on the same one. All right, so Ashley, I'll be sending you your um, key to your business in the mail too. Jeannie, did you get yours? I sure did. I have it posted already. Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do um, who earned the um, new tablecloth last week? Oh, yeah. So that was really awesome. Um, I forgot where I put mine. I was going to bring it out and show you in case you didn't get it, but I don't remember where I shoved it. It's you had to do 750. 750. I thought it was 600, 750, 750 in the month of September, and you got it for free. This month, if you submit what? $1,000. $1,000, you get what? The deep, the deep dish baker. You get the deep dish baker. So this is for all consultants. When you submit $1,000 in sales, you get the deep dish baker, and it will automatically ship. Because you're new, so you'll get that and that. Yes, new consultants get another additional thing too. So, um, Ashley, this falls for both you and Judy. Y'all are in your first 30, 60, and 90 days. For every 1250 you submit, you're going to get 100 Pamper Chef bucks. So, that's awesome. in addition to the consultant promo of spending the thousand and getting the baker for free. You get to double like it. Game to me. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So, now we're going to do our high five line. All right, so this person, or oh, I'm sorry, where did we start our high five line? 750. 750. Why did I pull that number out of the air? Because that's what's the minimum for a director. That's a minimum? That's the minimum a director has to have in personal sales. Um, and then what's the second reason? You get a raise. So you go from 20 to 22, or if you hit your 15, you go from 22 to 24% in your commission. So um, I'm still going to recognize these people because we had some fun model dudes anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go against my own rule. All right, so this person um, actually did no shows in the month of September. She's here tonight, so she's gonna earn a dollar. Um, her outlet sales were two hundred and eighty no. dollars. That wasn't me then, thank God. Um, for doing nothing but advertising. It led to one bookie. <laughs> Because she texted me during the day and she was like, Thank you, blah, 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 outlet. I can't say the words um, for keeping me active this month. So oh, I like wow. getting texts like that from you guys. 
All right, so this person um, did two shows in the month of September. She brought a guest tonight. She is also here tonight. Her top show was three oh eight, and her sales were five hundred and twenty seven dollars. Come on down, Andy. Woo! So you have earned two dollars. One, two. I'm gonna tell you two things in a minute. All right, this next person did um, one show. Her top show was 201, and her sales for the month were $884. Come on down, Nancy. Woo! Woo! All right. She got money in her hand. Yeah, you put that one in your pocket. Right. <laughs> one, two. All right, awesome. All right, so this next person did two shows in the month of September. Um, she earned the tablecloth. She um, she is here tonight. Her sales were over the twelve fifty mark. She's earned three dollars, and her sales were one thousand three hundred and thirty one dollars. Come on down, Debbie Telenitro. Thank you, Alfred. The outlet is great. All right, ready? One, two, three. Back in the saddle, Debbie. I'm getting there. Yeah. Yes. No, that was outlet, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then um, for being here, Deborah, you get a dollar, and Donna, you get a dollar, and Melanie, you get a dollar. So those will go in your envelopes. Woo! You can give them back to me. I'll cut. I'll put them back in there. But I just want to So what's this money for? Conference. Uh, conference. So everyone has an envelope. Um, <laughs> everybody has a cash for conference envelope and so you get um, money in here based on your sales and everything throughout them for the month and so we will put it in there now you also I saw um, Nancy's got some cold hard cash right in her pocket that she's gonna add her maybe I'm just gonna assume she's adding her own money in here so um, that comes into play if you add your own money we have an additional drawing at the end of the month end of the night that we will um, match um, what you earned with that. So make sure we do that at the end. All right, so then we have um, our leadership team. Ladies, will you join me? Why is she going? Oh, she's leaving the room. All right, no, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. sorry. Do, do you? All right, I didn't bring it. I didn't bring my All right, so Laura has um, re-promoted to director. I had it tied in a bow, but I think somebody played with it. Oh, there's that cat again. I know. So there's your beautiful red sash. Oh my gosh, thank you. We have a card for you. Aww. And it's even in a red envelope. Yeah, it's kind of pinkish, but it's really the same color family. Congratulations. Oh, everybody signed it. Thank you. Thank you all very much. All right, which one do you want? <laughs> Just pick one. I don't know. I have to leave. I got my own. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. So this fabulous person did four shows in the month of September. She got five bookings. She is so excited because not only did she do 14-18 herself, but her Woo! team did a total of 5,000, fill in the blank. 165. $165, <laughs> and there were five of them all active, the stars aligned, and she is a director. Yay! Yay! So we are so excited for Laura. And um, she got a beautiful bouquet of flowers today that was delivered. I did. My, my upline um, executive director sent me a gorgeous flower arrangement. And my husband um, thought that the delivery guy had the wrong house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said, well, I, I didn't send you any flowers, so I don't know why you're getting flowers. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like, hush up and take some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Am I next or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this person did five shows in the month of September. Her top show was $879. She had nine bookings from those shows, and oh my god, I can't read this. One, um, new, recruit. one new recruit who is Sarah. Is, Sarah is um, in King George ish. King George is Peninsula. Virginia. I don't know. DC ish. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. okay. Yes. So yes, she's not local. Yeah. We're going to find her a hospitality place. But Deborah counts for... Sort of, but she signed she's in October. October so, so, yeah. Oh, you didn't I was trying to be okay. okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. So trying we're going to gonna like, celebrate you, although yes. we are celebrating She's on there. You. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. All right. And um, her Wahoo is, um, first of all, the outlet. Wahoo! For the outlet, Survive September. And it's two September. new team members. Um, yeah. So Woo! Including yeah, you yes, yeah. and her whopping sales. Okay, this is incredible because seriously, three thousand two hundred and six dollars and sixty. Woo! And Andy Johnson. Woo! 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 Awesome. All right, so Tiffany, and you left out a hole because it's oh, because you always lie, right? Okay. It's um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tiffany. Her bookings. Like, she always everybody's a booking. Yeah, me too. All right. Everyone wins. Oh, so Tiffany. I need to see my A. Eight uh, shows, the top show of which was $1,034. Who was that host? She was a fundraiser for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Pass host? No, she was okay. a booking. Woo! She's a previous consultant. Woo! All right. Um, one new person added to your team. Who's that? I'm sure who it is. I think, I don't know. Melanie, were you September? Maybe that's what it was. Started in September. Okay. I think it was not. Okay. Yeah. All I right. So, um, oh. What? I was late. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, some Wahoos here. Um, outlet sales were $2,300. That's just sitting in the PJs looking up Star Wars pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. I mean, it was like, yeah, I mean, yeah. seriously, like every time I got on, like I refreshed my email, it was like ding, 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 yeah. ding. Well, ding. and I have to tell you, Mike and I were cracking up because I'd be like, oh, I look at my phone, oh, Tiffany got a $400 uh, dollar outlet order. And he'd be like, what'd you get? Oh, I got a thank you. Just you know, and some of them were like $18, well, $16. Yeah, yeah, right. The stuff was so stinking cheap. Yeah. Right. You got right. like, right. you know, when you see yeah. a $16 order, but they ordered 47 things. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be a great order. $30. <laughs> um, but all of this pushed her over $500,000 in career sales. It's her personal goal. Woo! And it's her anniversary month. Yay! So that was awesome. And then all of that all totaled up to earning level one of the trip. So now you can stop there. No. And then go. All right, so total sales for the month, $6,438. Oh my gosh. I'm Woo! Yes, so. And I can tell you guys that earlier in September when we met, when did we, when did we meet in September? Or maybe it was even when we met in August to plan September meeting. Yes. I remember you saying that you yes. didn't have much on your calendar I in September. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, so, uh, there you go. Not gonna be real, I was... I yeah. mean, you granted the outlet helped her out, but that was only you half. You that I did over 4000 I was going to say, but you did eight ships. Yes. So, and five and were live, three catalogs. Yeah. So she still worked. Mm -hmm. She worked hard. So congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Woo! All right. So Melanie did, um, Melanie, you did two shows last, in your first month. Mm -hmm. Your sales were 500 Your top show was $597. You got three bookings. You earned the tablecloth. And what were your sales? Thousand and eighteen, I think. Thousand eighteen, eighteen hundred. No, so thousand, commas. Okay, eighteen. <laughs> right. So if we're ten, I'm I'm giving you money to put in your envelope. Okay, so we'll um, total that. Off. <laughs> we'll that. Right, give me this. All right. So what we do with these slips? The reason why we have you put your name on both sides is we cut them up the middle, and half of them goes into your Wahoo jar, and then the other half we put in your cash conference envelope, so we can keep track of how much money you're accumulating throughout the. Um, period of earning And what if we don't have a year. Wahoo jar? Then I will, make we will make one. Yeah. I can either send one home with you if you're crafty, <laughs> or, you you're can, um, or you oh, can, or you can, they all have envelopes too. Like for people, like like Kristen is not physically here, but she's always on the calls. I have an envelope for her that I shove hers in. So um, those will come into play at the end of the year. Yes. All right, so. I just wanted um, Nancy oh. to take a oh, yeah. quick picture for me. Oh, yay. <laughs> Or Amy. Amy. <laughs> 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 we should sit and we'll be even with you. Oh. All right. You've got one in there somewhere. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, um, we also have, um, I forgot to get this out of the garage. Did Angie leave? Did she have to go? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, Angie qualified. Two people left, I think. Angie and Laura, her uh, guests. Uh, Angie qualified. So this is the first meeting she's been able to attend. Her kids swim on Tuesday night, and her husband does inventory Tuesday night. So this is the first time she's ever gotten to come to a meeting because the stars got along. But they have five kids between them, his, hers, and ours. So she's always running somebody back and forth. So she did qualify, and I owe her a qualification bag, but I'll get it to her when it's here next time she play. Or I'll go with that. All right, so I'm going to jump into training number three. So Laura did number one, Amy did number two, and I'm doing number three, um, which is actually a two-parter. <coughs> it's all about the holidays. Um, so um, like Amy was um, telling you earlier, today everyone should have gotten their fresh news email. And so when you scroll through there, there's a section on the holidays. So in the notes, I have the link that is like hammerchef.com slash holiday2005. Or 15 <laughs> so that you can um, find a lot of this information is right on there but um, what did I want to all right so okay so um, during the holiday seasons we're of course worried about our bookings and our sales right two parts of the puzzle we'll deal with um, team building in a second so um, did you know on average this time of year Consultants book 15% more shows than they normally do. Wow. And that's because they just kind of fall into their lap. I like things that just fall into my lap in a line like that. So what are some of those things that, um, outside the realm of the cooking show, that would could be those additional bookings? Anyone? Holiday specials. Holiday specials, awesome. Fundraisers, Fundraisers okay. Gift giving. Gift giving, okay. What kind of shows? Besides a cooking show, oh, vendor virtual events. shows, vendor yeah. events, Vent virtual shows, virtual shows. Okay. Anybody ever heard of a cookie exchange? Oh. Yeah. Um, earlier today, Angie asked me if I'd ever um, done a mystery host show. Oh. Anybody ever done a mystery host? Yes. All right. So a mystery host is when you don't know who the hostess is because you're going to raffle off the individual pieces of the host program. So every year, um, well, not every year, but there were many years I did a customer appreciation in the month of December. And um, if you brought an order, you got a ticket. If you RSVP'd, you got a ticket. If you bought every $10 you bought, you got a ticket. Uh, and then at the end of all these tickets, I pulled winners. So like this one, when I got in the monthly special, this one gets the half price, one of the half price items. This one, however, I would pick as many half price items as I had. Somebody would get the free. Sometimes I just put free in half and say you get 40 and you get 40 or 45, just depends. So that's kind of how a mystery host works. Um, what about workshops? What kind of workshops did you offer? Oh, the freezer meal. Freezer meal. Um, leftovers. Leftovers, hide the turkey. Mm -hmm. Didn't you do a pie workshop last year? Yep. So she did a pie workshop. Did you do that before Thanksgiving? I did. I so did they it had it all for yeah, Thanksgiving? I did it in October, actually. Okay. And then, I forgot, there's, these people can't see me. Um, and then um, I have on here virtual, uh, we did workshops with the exchange, customer appreciation, mystery host. Okay. So what about, what happened this past weekend? The weather. The weather. Didn't they kind of suck? Suck. Okay. <laughs> so what can you do to prepare yourself? Now, we may not be dealing with snow this early. There are places in the U.S. that deal, deal with snow by Halloween, but we don't typically have that. But we do get nasty rain and stuff like that. So what kind of things can we do in, like, to prepare for bad weather? Overbook. Overbook, good one. Could we turn a cooking show into something else? Yeah, a catalog party. Catalog show, what else? Facebook party. Facebook party. A virtual party. I've had a virtual party for all of us to the flooded end because people can't get out of their houses up here right now. So. in South Carolina. Oh, yeah. and they are. So she's yeah. flipping them into virtual shows. Yeah, because uh, and a lot of people are wanting to do them right now because they're bored out of their mind. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, this one show they said is a walk-on over show. Do you ever try to get your neighbors together and do something? Um, when I first lived in the the first neighborhood we lived in, I put an invitation in each of their doors. Like I walked up and down the street, and then when I had a customer appreciation, I paid some kid in the neighborhood to pay for all two hundred houses in the neighborhood. Um, with um, the date of my little event or whatever. So you can have a walk on over party. Um, what what method are we using right now to talk to these people? Zoom. Zoom. We're using a Zoom. So could we do a Zoom, like a, a video show or a conference call kind of show? FaceTime or whatever? Um, could you reschedule them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so you can pick a different date. Um, that's what happened with me. The Sunday show that I had to cancel moved to a different day. This kept her, kept her in this month, but I just moved her to a different day. Um, another one is um, this kind of helps you add bookings to your show, but there have been times where we've done a bad weather blitz where we all get on the phone, like we've done that Kristen was participated in one with us over the summer where we all got on the phone at the same hour and we all made phone calls at the same time. We were zoomed in like this, but we were muted so we could see each other on the phone. And it was just something that we knew we were all doing it together. Then we came back at the end of the blitz and we told everybody um, what our results were. All right, so those are things that can help you for um, bad weather. Now, what are some, um, what's one of the tools we have right now that help us with holiday sales? The outlet. The outlet will help with sales. Yep. What else? The new um, holiday. The new holiday helper. So this is the one that you can order on supply. I have one for everybody tonight. Um, if you order them, they are here. I just didn't like um, label them or whatever yet. Like say, here's your staff. Okay. So if you look at this little guy, look on. If you look on the back. He can be mailed just it like opens. this. It folds. No, it opens. I looked at mine for two days before I filmed it. It opens there. all the way up <laughs> like this. But when oh, you get it, it comes crazy. just like this, and then you no, just like, fold it oh, down. Nice. You can yeah, print these. Days. However, this is really nice printing, paper, glossy, all that mess. Right. So um, it is really, I think right. when I added in the, the shipping and the tax, it ended up coming out to $3 a pack. And this is not that bad because you got 25 in the pack. Yep. Um, this is in lieu of the holiday mini. We will not like have that. a holiday mini. Okay. It is just this. So that being said, let me look. Um, good night, Drew. Thank you. Um, what are some things you can do? If you've already read your consultant news, you may know this. What are some things you can do with this tool? Pass it out. See. You can pass it out. Great idea. What else can you mail do? It. Mail it. You can to mail you. it. Pass those 600 yes. people you know. <laughs> That's so true. People. So you all you need to do is you need um, a sticker to, 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 to make them stay shut. They don't like you to use staples, but if you use a sticker, if you don't have like the, the ones that are for mailing, you can just use a label. And you use a piece of tape too. Or a piece of tape to just seal it shut so it doesn't get caught in their machines okay. and it's going through. All right, so could you use this as an, as an invitation to a show? Yes. Yes. Could you use the um, when you're out and about? Yes. Yes. And what did Kristen say she needs to do when you're out and about? You need to get what from them? Their, their, their information. Their information. Could you use a post-it note? Yes. Could you put a post-it note on here so that when you hand them out, you can get the post-it note yes. back? Yes. All right, so it doesn't need to be anything like formal. It needs to be something simple. Could, be um, could you use these at cooking shows right now? Yes. yes. So this could enhance your show that you're having right yes. now. Um, it could be a poster. They said make use it as a party poster. They don't sell sheet protectors this big, but you could probably take it to Office Max and have it laminated yeah. just for a dollar because they do a dollar a foot. So that would work. Um, it's, um, they also say use it as party favors. Give one to every guest at your fall parties and it might smart their next booking. Now, we were just talking about something um, that we all got a lot of in September, which were what? Dollar wise? Uh, a lot of sales from the outlet. the outlet. Should we be thanking them? Yes. What could we be mailing them? <gasps> that. So you could put a thank you note inside here, even if it was a post-it, and then seal it. It should, it should be pretty good in there. Um, if not, the mailman gets a love letter. Um, all right, so you're going to... Um, have you know hand these out at your shows um these can be ordered on supply uj75 if you're interested in that um i did order anybody who was interested what was it the last week of september so i will do another supply order probably the last week of october for november so if you start going through these fast i'm not ordering again until another month from now you can order on your own if you'd like um holiday helpers if you're a new consultant and you're and you have Pamper Jeff dollars from the reward program, you can totally use those to order holiday. Uh -huh. Jeannie, didn't you ask me about that? Did you ask me about how to find or if, where your Pamper Jeff dollars are, what you can use them for? Yes. So you can order these if you okay. wanted to. Awesome. Um, and then they they're also the same size as the catalog, so you can like insert them in the centerfold of your catalog. So they're kind of like a catalog insert. 
All right, so um, how are you going to get the word out about our bundles? Talk about it at your shows. You're going to talk about it at your shows. <laughs> and um, did you notice that um, email your own customer? <gasps> you could do a customer connection email. Oh, no, really? Uh, <laughs> yes, you could do a customer connection email. So Pamper Chef's email goes up on the first. If you're if you are check the box or I can't remember the right terminology here. If you opt in. opt in, thank you. If you opt in, the newsletter automatically went out to all your people in your contact list on the first. So I don't know about you, but I get a Mary Kay and a Longer Burger and a 31 like 31. once a week. Oh gosh. So I'm kind of like going in between. I think I'm gonna do one on the on the like 15th somewhere in the second week, third week, somewhere right in the middle of the month and send something about this out. Or I might wait till November ahead and decide if I'm going to try to do that pink sales again. Um, so you've got your um, personal website sending out customer connection emails. How else can you use this? Facebook. You could do social media. Exactly. You could share these images. Um, I think I shared these already yeah, on our team page. Somebody went did. through and kind of cut them a little... So JPEGs. Somebody else has done it too, where they got the main picture. And it says happy holidays or something on the bottom. Is it that one? No, well, no, around it, it's the individual items with the oh, price. Oh, very nice. I forgot okay. what. It's, it's in one of the groups. Can I'm you gonna, make up your own bundle picture? if you wanted to? Yeah. Yeah. Like, can you have one called Amy's Favorites? And yeah. Pop crop up in there. Where do you get those images from? On Connection? Um, I have a whole, full, we have a lot of them are on our team page. Like if, if I find them, I page, upload them. You can pull it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you can just hit save as and you save it on your phone or your computer. I don't computer. think this document is on Consultants Corner as a PDF that you can print yourself, right? Yet. Last yes. week there was an issue when I clicked it, it kept giving me an error. So there but there is, there should be. It's going to be? Yes, it should okay. be a PDF that you should, you should be able to do that. if you go to Facebook and type in the Pampered Chef, it'll take you to the Pampered Chef. Facebook, Facebook page, and then go to photos. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think a lot of their there. photos. <laughs> and then also they have a Pinterest. Oh. Yeah. What about on the app? The app? I haven't looked to see if because it's on the app yet. The news? The, I don't know if it's under the news. That's a good question. They always, if you, if you have well, a camera okay, it, you can look at your news, and it has like every guest and every guest special, is special. And you can download them to And I take a screenshot usually. A, yeah, and save it as an image. All right, Alexis is going to look that up for me. Okay, so another important thing you need to know is about holiday cutoffs. Um, this is also on the Holiday Helper little, uh, all this holiday stuff is on there. There's a frequently asked questions that you can look up there. Um, but the holiday cutoffs is Hanukkah is early in December this year. So uh, Hanukkah begins on September, I'm sorry, December 6th. Ooh. All right, so you need to, if you're going to submit and have a standard order go in, the first is the latest you can go. You can do two day or next day, but those are only individual orders. You cannot next day a show. So the cutoff for December show is the no, first? No, it's for Hanukkah, Hanukkah orders. If you have someone who wants to order orders. Hanukkah orders. Oh, okay. All right, now somebody who wants to order Christmas orders, you need to have your shows in by the 17th. Is it on there? Okay. Um, all right, so if they get it on the 17th, it will be delivered by the 23rd. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Now, if they didn't, or sooner. If it, right. or sooner. <laughs> now, I have one time somebody wanted to do a catalog show. Somebody ordered. The show never got to 200. I forgot to submit the order that was on there, and I had to submit it as an individual order, and I had to pay the next day shipping. Don't let that happen to you, because next day shipping is expensive. But if you wanted to do that, you would have until the 22nd for two day shipping and the 23rd for next day shipping. You will pay through the nose. But that option is there. So just turn it in by the 17th. And you know what? Just keep yourself safe. Close it all out by the 15th. Just say everything right. in by the 15th. And you get, tell them. Yes. Then you get paid. Exactly. Then you get paid. <laughs> yes. Everything that goes in by the 15th, you're going to get on your paycheck. And we get paid on what day in December? 22nd. The 21st. We're a day early. Remember, we're 7 and 21 now. We're not 8 and 22. We're 7 and 21. They late and short. Yeah. It's actually a day, a day so tomorrow we get paid tomorrow everything y'all submitted in by the 30th. September by the 30th you'll get paid tomorrow Did you sign up for direct deposit okay then you should you should get it if not you'll get a paper check in your mailbox tomorrow all right 
So now we're going to transition over into the third part of our business. We covered bookings. We covered sales. What's the third piece of our business? We're paying team building. All right. So um, anybody ever heard the phrase, more the merrier? Yep. All right. So that's, um, well, you have a lot of kids. So. Um, all right. So um, can you guys tell me, does anybody have a guess on how much the average American spends on holiday gifts? Oh gosh! Way it too much. Over a thousand. All right, wait, throw it out. Just throw, throw me a number out. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand average American. So average American. Yeah. Average American spends two two thousand dollars. Okay. And who else? Come on. She can't be. Just there it is. Your holiday spending. The average person. Number. Five thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. I'm going to be in your family. You say four thousand. All right, you guys. Um. Wow. <laughs> wow. Can I, I come to your house? I know. We're family. Um, We're family now. ABC News reports the average American spends $700 on holiday gifts. Your kids get one toy. I don't know. Like, okay. not, there's all levels of income here. Yeah. This yeah, is this the is average. average. <laughs> okay. All right. So what benefits can we share this time of year to help address people's holiday needs? They can make money by joining our team. So they can earn to pay for the holidays. Yep. Right. Yep. Rebate. Thank you. We have a kit rebate. So, what Kristen, say? Kristen, say it again. I, I just said join for holiday money. Holiday money. Okay. All right. So you've got the more the merrier. The more people you build, get on your team. When they submit twelve fifty, they got to join in October. They submit their twelve fifty, and they're going to get a kit rebate check cut to them. For half of what they paid. So Amy the other day shared something about if you had taken the $25 or the $50 kit credit and then bought your kit and then got your rebate and then made the commission on the $12.50, it came out to like, I don't know, five bucks for your kit. I don't know. What was it? She doesn't know the math. It was for Karen. She does all the adding. They use the discount to get their kit. Yes, but the rebate is only based on what they paid. So they paid one hundred nine. Right. They're only going to get half of one hundred nine. Okay. 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 So they're only going to get the fifty four right. fifty, okay. and which I think is what one of the numbers. And then yes. when you make commission on twelve fifty, you're making like six. Good at uh, I can't do this right now. We can move on. Anyway, okay. cheap. All right. So, all right. So, what Kristen was saying was she was saying money for the holiday. Now, a lot of people buy, 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 buy in the holiday, and then they wake up in January and go, oh, crap. I'm not going to pay this bill. So, a debt free holiday is very, is very um, appealing to people. Um, now, I don't know if you guys have ever heard Nancy Joe's story. You guys know um, Nancy Joe Ryan's um, how she started Paper Chef. I know Kristen's nodding her head. She has heard us before. All right, so Nancy Joe went to her her. Wait, a, for you newbies, Nancy Joe is the top runner in our company always, every time. Always, every, every year, twenty five years and running, she's the top organization. She's and in the catalog. On an average month per. I don't know. I was on a call with her like six years ago, and sales, she made seventy thousand in a month. Yeah, cool. that was a month. Like yeah. she, I mean, she makes well over a million dollars a year. Like. That's who Alexis and I are going to see speak this weekend. We're going to a retreat in Pennsylvania this weekend to see her speak. All right, so when Nancy Jo joined Paper Chat, this was back in, like, I think it was 84, 85. At the time, they only had two of their four kids. And the son that's actually stationed here, I think he was ill as a child, and they spent a lot of time holding him his first year. And then, like, he um, was a very needy child, that she tells. And her husband basically said, Richard said, we are not having Christmas this year. We just, we can't, we, we put, I think he said because they did too much money in the health expenses, Nancy Joe wasn't working, they had two children at the time, but the, he was the baby, Richie was the baby, and then she had an older, her daughter, and she's like, I can't do that to my daughter, like, you know, I can't not have Christmas for this little girl, so she went to a show, and, um, I'm sorry, um, so she, so, so she went to a show, she ended up joining Pampered Chef only to earn money for Christmas. That's it. She went to her meeting in January, and I believe the story goes she had 22 bookings that she was going to give to the other consultants because she was done. Can you imagine if she had been done? We probably, 
we wouldn't be here. I don't know. We, <laughs> I don't know if the company. I don't know if the company would have like flourished like it did. Like I mean, those like national execs that have been around twenty five and thirty years, like. <laughs> Um, you know, it's just amazing. Like, I need to think about it. The show average back then was half of what it is now. The show average here is about 475, 500. Back then it was $200 for a show average. All right. So that's the whole reason she would want paper chef was to pay for a debt free holiday. Cause her husband said, no, we're not doing Christmas. All right. So, um, what, um, Okay. Oh, by the way, the commission is two hundred and eighty seven dollars. All right, so two eighty seven. So you would have you would your kit would eventually be free. You still would have come home with two hundred dollars in cash. Yeah. Over and above that, plus the hundred paper check box. All right, so um as we shared this last time we were here. Now if someone was to join this week, this is the what week? The fourth or the tenth, and they were to hold one show a week for the holiday season. So that's until shipping cut off. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven um, shows from now until Christmas. The average income they would bring home is eleven hundred dollars. Would that more than pay for the average Christmas? Yep. Yes. yes. And give you some extra. Okay, not to mention the paper check dollars that will go along with that that you could do. So um, they also can use their paper check dollars to do what? Shop for gifts. themselves. Shop for yeah. themselves or buy gifts. Yeah. So if you have someone who's trying to figure out how to give somebody a really nice rock crock, but they maybe not be able to afford that out of their pocket, um, I know I gave my sister a rock crock one year that I earned. <laughs> so um, that that's a great way to use your paper check dollars to buy stuff. Both my boys want. Uh huh. Um, you can generate sales from friends and family. So um, I don't know about you, but I might set my place settings. Maybe I'll have this laminated, and this will be the place setting at Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh I'll like right here. I'll just like it, and then, um, yeah, you know, just circle all them for race markers. They can circle what they want. Um, I also usually put a sticker on some of my stuff this time of year too. It says it has a little cute little sexy elf, and it says "Let me be your elf," and like, and give this to your Santa, and have them give me a call, and then that way you don't spend the um, day after Christmas in the return line. Oh. Yes, so that's a good one. And then also, those of you who have ever worked retail. What's getting ready to happen in retail hours? Oh my gosh, they're awful. Like I worked in a salon many, many years and we had to open on Black Friday at 5 a.m. Nobody gets their hair out at 5 a.m. in a salon, just so you know that, but we had to be there because we had to abide by the mall rules. So when you work retail, you have to do whatever their hours are, whether you are waiting tables or working in a retail establishment, um, there's no flexibility. And they're going to say, like, I know, like, my niece waits tables at Cracker Barrel. She has to work, like, in the Thanksgiving holiday, she either has to work, like, the three days before or the three days after to get it all, like, to stay an employee. And why drive for however far to wear a uniform that you had to buy to make minimum wage and then pay taxes on that and then come home with, <laughs> when you could, for a couple hours, go hang out with some ladies, cook some yummy food, and earn a bunch of money. Yeah. yeah. And I tell people that all the time. They'll ask me, how many nights a week do you work? I said, did you see me work tonight? And they're like, no, you didn't work. We did all the work. You know, because I do a station style show. So really, um, I'm not doing a whole lot anyway. All right, so just real quick. Um, <laughs> I just um, Actually, Drew's caught on. He's like, oh, you're packing? What time do you leave? <laughs> He's like, what's the Wi-Fi code today? Um, okay, so think about real quick. I was going to make y'all pair, get pairs, but let's just say it uh, out loud. Um, what words will you say at your shows on those 35 phone calls or on social media um, or when you're out and about regarding why now is a great time to start your camera chef business? Debt free holiday. Debt free holiday. All right, write that one down. What else? What else could we say? You can get the kit credit. You can get the kit credit. Yeah, you can get the kit rebate. I'm all about the flexibility. I was telling somebody this weekend, I learned, I left my day job four years ago, and I learned that um, I'm not really good to be, um, I'm not good having a boss. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And I like to nap. Okay, so do not call me between the hours of two and four because I am napping. I did not nap today. 
but um no, it did take a little while to respond to I was decorating. Y'all like my decorations? <laughs> um, all right. So if you are at loss of when to put this stuff in your show, one thing we used to say is to, um, even if you use those little colored stars, like the ones I have up there on there, or any kind of sticker or whatever, even if you use washi tape, that would be a good one to use because it feel, feels off. Um, put, like, use two, just two different colors, blue for bookings, and I usually use green for team building because that's, like, growing. And just put that on a product or two on your display. So if you don't know when to say something, when you touch it, like your MFP. So when you touch Manuel and it's got a green sticker on it, what are you going to talk about? It's in the kit. Yes, talk about that. It's in the kit. Exactly. So if you go to touch your scraper and there's a blue sticker on it, what are you going to talk about? Bookings. Bookings. Okay. And the scraper is part of what collection? The half price, the half price combos in the back. All six of the Baywatch babes are back there. Because you can't just talk about booking or um, joining the business when you do your booking slide or whatever. Um, because people have to hear it more than one time. You have to sprinkle it. You have out. to be all the time mentioning it. Over do they ever over. ask you why there's stickers on their products? That's a great question. Why do you have a sticker on there? To remind me to when to talk about this because I'm a new consultant and I don't know. And my job is so easy. I used to do pot notes. What? Woo -hoo! Pot notes. I would take the um, micro cooker and yeah. inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, but, um, I would take index card and I would tell people I cannot remember everything. Okay, especially numbers and things like that. If you're not automatically yeah, you in my thing, I don't have to. Have to. But this helps me remember what I want to tell you about this product. And so I would have on oh, there so easy. different little things that I'd pull up. Some people read from the script. Yeah. They have no cards or they have a piece of paper and a sheet protector. It just depends. Like today someone asked me to give them a um, booking, a, a, book, a tip for in a cooking show. And I'm like, to book a cooking show or to like a food fact? And she's like, either one. So I was going to tell them about my garlic spiel. But I couldn't just like insert that. I had to start at the beginning and go all the way through my garlic spiel because I couldn't like the tidy whities. I had to go all the way. I had to start. I had to start like I didn't even know what garlic was when I first started. I had to go all the way through the tidy whities. So like you know that now rolls off my tongue. And the more you use those cues, right. the more second like nature it will become. So and, like, the tidy whities joke. I've been oh, twelve years. I learned it from my life. Say so that again. Um, people like to see that because at one of the shows I did, because it, I mean, I had been in in a year, but it was still only my like third cooking show because I had done all virtual parties. So I had my note cards and my booking side and I was like, you know, did y'all have fun, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, look how easy it was. My uh, director sent me these cards and all I had to do was read what she wrote and it did my job for me. And that a lot of people were really interested in the business that way because they were like, oh, I don't have to memorize all the, you know, right. like I don't yes. have to memorize the menu and, you know, you know, how much is this? Can I, you know, substitute that? The, the information is there and no one cares if you're using it during your show. Exactly. Like when you go work for a restaurant, you have to take a, uh, usually yeah. a meal yeah. test yeah. to yeah. memorize all the prices and what's in it and all that. Psh, I don't memorize Cal. I don't memorize page numbers or any of that. Mm. Um, right. Yeah. So, because you're almost done, right? Almost, yep. Okay, so the what do you learn here tonight? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel... Yes. Do, I mean, really. Like, do you feel like, I could go call some people. I'm ready to go to a show. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's how we feel after conference. And Kristen... All right, so share. Kristen, are you, are you prepared to share with us about yes. conference? Melody, do you want to come over this side to see her, or are you good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, the reasons why to go to conference. Uh, I hope that I wrote all this down and y'all, can y'all hear me okay? Yeah, I'll put you on speaker view so we can see you bigger. Oh, yay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up from my nap, so no makeup for y'all. Y'all are that lucky. But um, conference was a really big deal for me this year. Um, I signed up two weeks before conference last year, so the money didn't quite add up. So that was my goal and I finally got to go. Um, being down here in Charleston, um, I don't get to come to the team meetings in person, and 
I don't know who I can, you know, whose voice is that Donna? I don't know who that is. You know, like I can't, you know, know everybody. So I was like, I actually get to be with my team and see the things in person. I had no idea how mind boggling it would be. You know, we get up there and it's exciting. We have a lunch together and I'm sitting there like a mouse, like, I don't know these people. It's on the computer screen for the past year. But then we go to our general sessions and our big meeting with um, Nancy Joe Ryan and Michael Reeves was there and it was so inspiring. Like it's not only seeing how your teammates work, but all these other consultants and uh, I mean, they do million dollars in a year or so and seeing how they work and then you see what you're doing and you're doing the same thing. You just need to put it more into motion and really put it out there because Michael Reeves had this this list of 20 things to do and um, you've really got to listen to him. He's hilarious and um, he's really inspiring because like he just had a bad wreck. I follow him on Facebook he did. and even from his hospital bed, I'm about to go into surgery, but when I get out and rehab, I'm doing... Um, a video training, anyone want to join in? And I'm like, you're in the hospital, dude. Like, he's, he did a show in the hospital. He's very inspiring. Um, but it was just really cool to see everyone get together as a family. Um, I felt more part of the team, but also part of a family. Uh, I didn't know there was that part of Hamper Chef until, you know, seeing Doris and knowing her story. I was lucky enough to sign up before they were all out of home office tours. Um, so if you ever get to get to go to conference and that's an option and if we're in Chicago, do it because it's like the Mecca of Pampered Chef. You, you get to see the table where she created everything. You get to, I mean, they even let you leave notes for Doris. Um, it's, it's really cool and it made me feel like more than a mom. For the past eight years, you know, since I was 18 years old, I got married, I booked it out of Texas and moved with my husband, and we've on, been on this Navy ride uh, for eight years now. We have two beautiful children, but I really just been sitting here being a mom, which I love, these precious little monsters, <laughs> but sometimes I need a mommy moment where I need some grown-up time, and it really made me, uh, it made me a better mom and a better wife because I had a sense of purpose outside of my home um, and I felt like I could provide. I don't do um, a bunch of cooking shows because I'm not confident enough yet to get out there. But conference really, I mean, it just gave me the drive to um, put these tools that um, Tiffany and Amy and Laura are teaching us every month, really how to put them into motion and it just made me feel important um sometimes when you're a mom you don't feel important um you just do what you have to do and um you know i get little gifts from tiffany and sometimes um just from doing conference they sent out surveys and they were like you know how did we do how was conference for you and i just took the survey it was like five minutes long and they sent me gifts thanking me for doing their surveys and I was like and I get gifts the other day I did a survey um, because I called and asked if I could do direct ship on something it was literally like a five minute call did the survey and they sent me a big old one of the big micro cookers thanks for doing our survey and they, so that's the third time they've done that from talking to the solution center that's awesome um, so really, you just you see all of that and all these people behind Pampered Chef and making it work, um, and it it will really it'll change your life. It did mine. Uh, so that's that's my little spiel about conference. I really encourage everyone to go um, and start your um, your money now because I didn't start it until June a month before, <laughs> and it. And it was kind of hard to get it all together, but I'm glad I did. So. Awesome. Thank you, Krista. All right, I am going to hand out our meeting survey. So if you'll just um, fill that out for me. And um, we'll make sure your director or 
whatever. Uh, it's one. Um, <laughs> all right, and then okay. Let me go over. Um, all right. So, uh, with the wrap up of the meeting, one of your uh, challenges is to reach out to how many people? Thirty-five. Thirty-five people individually. All right. So you're going to reach out to thirty-five people individually, and um, it could be as simple as calling someone and saying, "Hey, what's your address?" I want to mail you something. Ooh, and then they're checking their mailbox. So yeah, like that would be, you know, just mailing this little thing right here. And this fits inside of the season's best too, if you wanted to do that. I guess if you have any of those extra. All right, and then, um, what else do we have on here? Oh, so the other challenge is the Paper Chef Challenge to sell 35 uh, Round Up From The Heart bowls. And remember, they do come in a set. So you can get, um, is that on here? No, it's in the catalog. All right, so you get, you can do the two bowls or the bowl individually, and then what are the challenges? And still this month, like that's in the catalog. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, I think it's in the catalog right now. Like it's, you can get the current one and last year's together or just whatever. But um, Laura Pittman did some pampering of business right when we came back from conference. And so she used the popcorn recipe that's in here. Mm -hmm. And she handed them out yeah, to businesses. So you could totally do that and then put this with it and pamper little businesses is another idea. Um, I also thought for the teachers that I might use the nourish or the share bowl. And because they nourish our children and they share themselves with our children, like that would be a cute little gift to put some popcorn in that cellophane that baby up and um, put this little thing with it. So um did i tell you guys how i did that with the teachers at the middle school this this past okay so you know elementary school teachers you send all their supplies in they get all that kind of stuff middle schools don't you don't do that this, i'm learning this because i just have a first year middle schooler and it's harder to kiss the teacher's butt yeah you don't know them because you don't go in for the parties and things like that so what i did is i when i bought the tissues and i bought the clorox wipes and the hand sanitizer i had extra you know, I always have extra Sharpies and extra dry ray markers and all that kind of stuff. So I made them three little bags. Drew has three core teachers. So I made them each a little bag, and then I took a season's best. I opened it up with an orange marker and said, weren't you glad Drew is in your class? <laughs> they were probably like, oh, my God. This is and I put an orange <laughs> peeler and a fresh orange. I went up to the store and got, like, a navel orange, and I put the orange and the orange peeler in a bag together, and I said, weren't you glad? Okay, so I put some tissue paper in it. I walked, went up to the school. I did not send them with him to embarrass him, but I went up there <laughs> thinking I was just going to give them to the security desk and they were going to divvy them out. Well, I, as I walked down the hall, was Drew's science teacher, Miss Kennedy, and this is her first year teaching middle school. She was a previous fourth grade teacher, and she's not from here. She can't, she moved oh, or whatever. So she was like, I said, oh, hi, Miss Kennedy. Like, she doesn't know who I am. She met, like, 47 parents that night. And I'm like, this is for you. I'm Drew's mom. He's in your science class. And she's like, oh, for me? I was like, yeah, this is for you. And she's like, Oh my gosh. I was like, well, I know you probably don't get a lot of stuff and blah, blah, blah. I kind of went through. I didn't tell her what was in it, but I just said, you know, you don't get a lot of stuff. And she's like, I don't know you, but can I give you a hug? Oh. <laughs> so I, yeah. So I gave her a hug. And I'm like, can you deliver these to the other two teachers? And she was like, yeah, sure. So this week, Drew's like, um, my science teacher sent home something. It was a thank you note. She was like, you not only made my day, but you made my year. Aww. Okay, now how easy is that to send a season's best with a freaking orange peeler and an orange? Orange, you glad the sky is blue today. I mean, you can, <laughs> you know, and so I do, um, this time of year, I do start like trying to look at those play on words. And um, I usually have a sheet protector that I take to vendor events, but it's like your snow sweet and it's like the snowman scraper. Or now that we have the Hannah, the Santa, and the Merry Christmas. Yeah, so we whisk you a Merry ideas. Christmas. If yeah. you buy this, you can use it. Yes, and I'll send them the tags. So I kind of have all of those already done. I have a, um, an Evernote loop that says like teacher appreciation, teacher gifts. So they really can be gifts for anybody that you appreciate. So whether it's your dentist or your doctor or your whatever else you get checked out. Um, Whoa. I have questions. Yes. Um, uh, those cards that you take for the show, you know how you like drop them all down? Yes, that's called the booking slide. Okay, how did you get that? That you can buy on supply or you can wait to earn paper chest dollars. Um, but it is part of a new consultant. Um, is it called the booster? Is it called a new consultant booster? 
Um, you know, I'm not confident. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's basically it's like a little booster pack. She scares the crap out of you. She was like, drops this thing. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the slide. That's but the slide. slide. Okay, the booster. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah so right, you, so as new consultants, could order the business, booster. Business booster. Business booster. Business booster. That's it. Okay. You so what's in it? Like, what's that? There's a flyer that comes in your kit that tells you it's usually on a bright sheet of paper, of and it paper. usually says business booster, and you get to order it for your first 60 days. You have access to order okay. that. I think I did. And, no, no, no. Um, it, it comes in your kit. Like, you won't have oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can that. use your own money to pay for it, or you can wait till you get paid for $10. I didn't put that in my kit. Um, we have a copy of it. Like, I can probably pull it from Consultants Maybe, Corner. Maybe. You know, they change little things like that a lot. You were also in between a season change, yes. so it could have been... Maybe they don't include that in the kit. That's the I thought it was a bright piece of paper. I never knew what color it was, but yeah, it was maybe, they, maybe they stopped that. The business booster? Maybe they stopped including the paper. Oh, the paper, it. yeah. Um, it, it, on the website. So it might be on the checklist. That you, no, that's from Merrill. Merrill is our licensed vendor. Okay. And they have a business booster pack that has like yeah, a stamp and business cards and maybe labels or something. Can yes. we ship to Alaska? Is there a yes. different charge for that? Yes. Alaska like and Hawaii, Hawaii, it's like 15, it's, is it like 15? dollars a goat in your first child. Okay. <laughs> no, it's like, um, <laughs> something about 15%, like it's $4 and 15% of the Alaska order, but yes, we can, I have. And you ship overseas. Yeah, because actually, this is hard to see, but it has um, Hawaii and Alaska. Because right, I have somebody in Alaska that wants a brownie pan. Just put it in the show and let it calculate it. Other stuff she wants to order. <laughs> yeah, tell her to make it worth her while. Okay. Get some neighbors together and they can share that shipping. That's right. They can share. Um, all right. So um, I also have, if you have someone that you're thinking about bringing to the next meeting, uh -huh. I have these blank um, invites. So all you have to do is just put in the date and time. So it would be November. I have four that I have made up so far. How many you want, Donna? Two. Two. Anybody else want to bring somebody? See, she had to do it because she did it. Yeah, there you go. They're battery bowl buddies. Yeah, we're battery bowl buddies. Now what I got into. Yeah, so just like somebody that you would want to bring to the meeting. Target, just give, hey, like we just fill out the date and time and make them so they're generic. Okay. So just so they know where to go. You can mail it. Like I'll mail it to people <laughs> or you hand it to them. <laughs> All right, now does everybody get a pink um, pen exactly from the front desk, are. from the front table? If you haven't, um, don't have any help with cancer pens, I put some over there. So you can take one and wear it on your shirt or your apron or whatever. Amen. Um, now we're gonna do our raffles. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Do do that. Yes, please. Yeah, raffle tickets are behind you. Who needs to buy some? Yes, I think all please. of us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, we got catalogs too. I got that one. All right, so tickets are one for ticket for three. Ten for ten, yeah, something like that. For a free pizza? Five, five, one five, ticket for no. two dollars. Okay. Three tickets for five dollars, or ten for ten. Uh, I get one okay. And it's this product. And I put, right put my one. wish list in there, so and I took a ticket off the thing, and I put half in there. Yes, that's okay. perfect. So there's one, two. Do you want money for my envelope, or is that later? Yeah. Just yes. wait a second until so I can get your envelope yes, out. That's later. Okay. Yeah. All right, so who besides Donna has money that they want to put in their cash account envelope? Me. I should have actually start putting a dollar in there so that I can buy earplugs. You putting the whole 20 in there? Yeah. Okay. What do I want to spend it? Do you want to copy and put 20? No, I'm putting 10 in. Why? Just put in I just paid off a Disney vacation. You got Rocky on it? That's what you told me. You better go. All right, so I got I'm not white tickets for catalogs <laughs> first. <laughs> white tickets, okay. Like, I don't know where mine is. I'm sorry. Well, I guess process of elimination, right? Oh, there it is. All right, so <laughs> seven, four, eight, <gasps> zero, <gasps> five, no, zero. Okay. Yay! 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 Add to your collection. Bring your catalog. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get excited. Kristen says goodbye. Bye, Bye Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then um, okay, so then raffle bag. Anybody else gonna buy raffle tickets? Speak now, forever hold your peace. 
That's the red ones, right? Red. Oh, hang on. What does that do? Shake it up. They have a bag of product behind me that the winner gets the entire That's bag. The okay. And the bag. Oh, well, well, last well. time I thought you only got to pick one item. I want the whole bag. Oh, yeah, she gets the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the winner, winner, six, two, eight. Yep. yep. Seven. No. Nine. Yeah. Six. Damn it. Darn. <laughs> Nancy! Nancy! I gave you Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> See you later. All right, Nancy. Once again, once again. Show everybody what you got. You did. You did. What color? What's your favorite candle? Yeah. 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 Now I can sell lots of bows. Yay! Look at that. Ooh. My only catalog. <laughs> Some pink products. <laughs> Pasta thing. Uh, I'm getting her. Her. Yeah. Uh, she wants some help. Uh, what's that? Oh, the pumpkin dish. Pumpkin dish. Oh, right. Yeah, I know the products. I wish it was still on. And a scraper. Never ending bag. Yay. And a keychain. Woo! Woo! And a bag. And a bag. Woo! Thank you very much. All right. Nice. Hopefully that was worth our raffle money there. <laughs> All right, we did that. We did that. What else did we have to do? Pay for supply orders. Oh yeah, you have to give me my money for supply orders. Where did I just put those two blue tickets? Okay. Twitter. What do you get? Blue tickets. That Twitter. was if you have money to put on your envelope. Do you want to put money? It's between in your her and I. Something's not fair here. All right, you ready? One, two, 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 nine. Yes. Eight. Yes. Two. No. Oh. Woo! Yay, Donna. All right, so Donna, you earned. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. Okay, so you earned one tick, one dollar for being here, so I match that to put on your envelope. Okay. Um, with money in the envelope. That's right, that's right. For conference. For conference, yeah. If I get money in this next year coming, but I can't go. I'll give it back to you. I can't just put it in the envelope for the next you year. Yeah. 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 She had a kidnapper. No, I thought I'm going to kidnap her. Oh yes, we're going to kidnap her. I'm going to go get her. Six. Oh, I'm going to be gone. So she, drive there. Is she in Jacksonville with Becky? No. Yeah. Uh, no. no. Although Becky She's can tell me that her and Amy meeting. Parker are going to try to start doing meetings together. Yes. Oh, nice. Wow. In the first of the year. So I told him to like telecommute in this way. What? What do you guys do with Amy Parker? What? She I have it on my work. bag. I have like a keychain. Yeah, and that way I have yeah, like I know, um, right. it's on the outside of my Jackson business bag. Okay, yeah. 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 I have like a business yeah. bag that I keep in my car that has like stamps and stuff that I need where I'm out and about. And Deb, you live in Surrey? Yes, ma'am. Because I live in Carrollton. Oh. Okay, sure. Hey, we look up some time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a good could one. Could you carpool? I think you need to check out. Carrollton's 35 minutes for me. Yeah, she passed me this. I was going to say, yeah, you kind of converge. Yay. So. Check, um, uh, Seth, check, check the community center. Oh, thank you. Um, in Surrey, uh -huh. because occasionally they do different vendor events okay. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out there, so that's Thank another you way. Right. Yeah, I think there was something at like Surrey <laughs> Baptist yeah. Church because that Smithfield um, selling like yeah, on Facebook, yeah. selling Smithfield or selling oh, Iowa right. County. I I've seen some stuff on there. Yeah. But that's something I would like to do with some of the vendors. So we didn't get to eat your pasta. How was it? Oh, um, a couple of us had it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's like like you didn't know what was oh, going on. Oh, what kind of pasta right. you made? Did you get pasta? Just for sure. But yes, I'll yes, take it. Yeah. Don't call me, Amy, but here. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you right now. You right have, now. have a few times. I can call you. And Amy, where are you are? Like Daddy, don't let me. I'm in Chesapeake. You just keep riding. I'm just kind of like out between. I'm in the grass area. I just think I'm tired. 
that's like at the meeting place of Hickory Ridge um, and Deep Creek. Yeah. So you're far too. Yeah, yeah a little bit. I mean, not I'm really. Over but time. At the fair. Yeah. Are you at the Iowa County Fair? No. Okay. Somebody had a favorite stuff. Just there. Oh, where's the pop? And everybody was like, why aren't you mm -hmm. part of that? I'm like, on the stove? Oh, there it is. Might have been Melissa. Have you ever known she's she sitting here all wrapped up? How about she lives in Carolina? Mm -hmm. She does, but she comes up there for like... It's just... You can, like, it's, okay, it's here, and she's here, and we're here, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I don't know, I can't think of anybody out there. I have a consultant um, in, um, in um, Janet is kind of, of course, but she, but she um, you pull it up, uh, yeah, <laughs> 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 I can't <laughs> Janet is closer to Carol than I am. Um, then you can see if I can get away with it. Oh, there she is on my apron. <laughs> anywhere else. I mean, yeah. it's like out that way towards that car one. And um, this one? Uh, she, she, wanted, she wanted to so sign up. Shorts, she uh, couldn't buy anybody but uh, Melissa. And then um, they, they sent her my name. So. You know. That's why she's on my team. But she doesn't usually come to meetings because of her work schedule. She can't get her daughter and then get home and then get back and her daughter and you dump the fruit um, all in there but she's out that way too so so that's why i thought hey ride or him so ride. where where are you how far are you i'm right by the james river bridge okay so it would be ideal if eventually i could have my own little team out there. yeah yeah i wonder well, I, I grew up in Western Branch, but my high school boyfriend for like four years lived in Holland. Like, you go off the Holland exit and turn right, and he was right there. So, I was out there. He was in the Carol's home. So, we were out there a lot. But, um, yeah, the, uh, I mean, if she... Did this piece be best? She's going to come by the James River Bridge. I mean, I'm sure she does. I work on the Harbor Bay. I'm straight from one. Oh, I got you. She still has to come right back. Yeah. What do you do in Harbor View? I work at Town Bank. Oh, okay. We have exercise on Tuesday. Is that the community just do the James? Okay. I went straight from work to class. Yeah. yeah. I'm here because I didn't want to skip class. That's okay for it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my, um, <laughs> I'm trying to feel it like, my parents started doing a lot more stuff out there. They opened it. My parents are still like in the heart of the street. Yeah, that's what they started doing. They started going more to like, you know, where they used to go, like, like, where they used to go, 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 like, where they used to Takes you 20 minutes to get down uh, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll be there. Like, yeah, 500 feet. Yeah. Then have my She's got lots of cute Halloween stuff. I will reiterate it. I love Halloween, Halloween, but she's got way more than I do. It's, it's all in Halloween. here. What the pasta? Yeah. Pasta. It's noodles, chicken broth. Basil, tomatoes, garlic. Yep, yep. Cheese, yeah. cheese, 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 cheese. Oh my goodness! Yes. I have to get my room to have house. Is there cake? Cake? Um, tell me what you got. Yeah, like you got. Cake you right in the knee. Shh. Yeah. 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 And there's uh, apple. Oh, there's apple. Yeah. Yeah, no one to express. Oh. Okay, I meant to print it. I just forgot. Stop recording.